Unfortunately, BMI, which is what most people use, only gives a rough estimate of whether or not you're really overweight or obese um, because people have different body types. We use a technique um, called the bod pod where we actually displace air to determine body density. And from your body density, we can fairly accurately determine what percentage of your body is fat. The reason we have uh, you wear compression tights or a Speedo swimsuit is we don't want any air trapped in garments. Mass is important to the overall computation, so this is an important step. Um, what I'm going to have you do is put a swim cap on, and that's, again, it's the same thing as the shorts. It's because your, your hair traps air around it. It just helps compress everything down so we're getting a more accurate volume. That's exactly. good. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll have you sit exactly like this. I'm going to close the door. Takes about 50 seconds. Try not to move because okay. the more you move, the more the air will fluctuate in there. Okay. We'll do two of those, and then if those are in agreement, we'll do a third with the hose. Okay. Okay. The first two measurements are our volume measurements, so we're strictly measuring the amount of air he displaces in the bod pod. The third measure will be to measure the air that moves in and out of his lungs as he's breathing so we can subtract that out of his volume. Once we get the volume and we have his body weight, we can calculate body density. And once you have body density, then we can put that into prediction equations for percent fat, and that's based on different on gender, age, and different race. The bod pod we can use uh, in both a pediatric population and we can go um, up to about 450 pounds. All right, are you doing okay? Doing great. Not too strenuous, huh? No. Instructions from the computer will be, you'll see a histogram to breathe in, breathe out. It's just having you breathe your normal breathing pattern. And that's all there is to it.